here at the beach and uh, it's the last free parking lot in California this is the last free parking lot in California and they're trying to change that got a good pier out there I caught a thousand mackerel in one day and uh, 400 sardines went out and gave it to the Catholic Church during mass they all ran out and grabbed them all the Mexicans they really like that now I'm feeding the critters over here the pigeons were just here now the ducks are moving back in for seconds these are mallard ducks it's the male females right there by the bush she's already had enough to eat looks like I love eating those ducks in China. There's an art form where they they serve the heads in this one Asian country at this festival. Just duck heads. There's a thousand vendors at this festival and one of them just had duck heads. Another one had uh, quails. And the quails were the size of the duck's head. <laughs> Looked like a little turkey but the size of uh, the duck's head. Really tiny quail on the barbecue spit. So one of my videos is hilarious. They're spinning around. So there he goes. A quacker eating a cracker. Filmed by a cracker. <laughs> uh, come on, figure it out, man. Huh? It's like putting a square box in a round hole, huh? Keep going at it. You'll get it. Quack, 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 quack. Eat that cracker, man. You want to pick up the pieces instead. Huh? Go the easy route. Well, follow the path of least resistance. Like the Chinese say, I can, under I can understand that. I can dig that. Okay. But they have a TV show and they explain how they, pigeons are coming back, how they, uh, they blow up the, the ducks like a balloon to separate the skin from the meat when they roast them. All they do is take a 50 gallon drum in China and just hang them inside the drum with the fire at the bottom of it and they just sweat that oil because they're real fatty meat. But they're delicious, really delicious. I go to this American fast food place in China, and out in the alley behind it, it's a chicken joint, national, a worldwide chain. And the Chinese pack that place and eat that greasy stuff. I go out in the street, and I get a quarter of a duck, two vegetables, bok choy and green beans or something, a pile of rice, tea and soup for... 75 cents. Go figure. See the ducks trying to, the pigeons are trying to move in. Pigeons are very passive. See, he just got bit by the duck. The duck bit the pigeon. Okay, that's enough for you. Quack, 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 quack. Bye bye. Thank you. Thanks for eating at Adventure Man's Beachside Cafe. Now, I suppose you guys want something to eat now. Okay. Mr. Duck, you got to share. You got to share. Can't we all get along? I mean, hey, we're all God's creatures, critters, creatures. Okay. Now I got to go get my workout.
done fed the ducks and the Hmong chickens. The Hmong eat pigeons, the Hmong people. And they're pretty smart because pigeons are quiet and you can't have chickens in America in your backyards. So they raise pigeons because they're nice and quiet and they have a lot of meat on them. Not quite as good as the ducks, but ducks make too much noise. As you see, pigeons are nice and quiet. So the Hmong are pretty smart. They got around America and all those rules and regulations. Everything's against the law. Like back in the homeland, they need some fresh, fresh meat. In fact, all the Hmong stores sell nothing but Thai food. The chickens with the heads still on them, and the feet, and the fish, and all the Thai bamboo and dishes and hot sauces and well that's all there is today thanks for coming so we're signing off from uh, the last free beach in California I'm trying to take that away Well, Adventure Man over and out from Adventure Man's Seaside Bird Buffet, where we can all eat for free from California's last free beach. Adventure Man over and out. Quack, 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 quack.